Willkommen! I'm Andrea Decker, the Adult Programs Manager at the Fleet Science Center, reporting to you from La Mesa. Welcome to another episode of Fleet TV, because science is everywhere. That's right, even here in my kitchen, and rumor has it, even in your kitchen. You might not realize it, but it takes a lot of science, such as chemical reactions and physics, to turn these ingredients, and more, into something delicious like this banana walnut bread or this bread I baked myself. Doesn't quite look like the professional ones, but tasty nonetheless. In this episode of Fleet TV, we will show you some mind-boggling experiments you can do in your kitchen. The Fleet Science Educator Extraordinaire Fabio will show us how you can turn the color black into a beautiful array of colors using materials you can find in your home. Take it away, Fabio! Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Fabio and I am a science educator here at the Fleet Science Center and today I am going to be teaching you the science of paper chromatography. To do this experiment, you're going to need a few household items. I have here coffee filter paper and this coffee filter paper has been cut up into long rectangular pieces. You're also going to need a black marker, preferably a Crayola washable marker. You can use other types of black markers, but these, one, these are the ones that will give you the best results. You're going to take your filter paper and draw and your marker. You're going to draw a dark dot or a dark line. Afterwards, what you're going to need is a container with a little bit of water. You don't need a lot of water to do this. You're going to need either a binder clip or some tape. And you're going to lightly touch the water this is not what you want to do. Try to avoid putting the paper all the way into the water because that will completely dissolve the ink and ruin the experiment. You want to just gently touch right here and let the water flow up gently. And using a binder clip or tape, tape it down. And over time, through water capillary reactions, the water is going to move up, touch the ink, and start separating its color. So this is the result of my paper chromatography test. You're going to get different results depending on what type of paper you use or what type of ink you use. Uh, but notice uh, this one came out really beautifully. You can see parts of yellow, parts of blue and green. Uh, the same one has been done for this. But you, have, uh, you see a much better separation. These two, uh, same ink, uh, but different types of paper. This was using paper towel, and this was using uh, Kleenex paper. As you're doing this workshop, I want to encourage you to experiment with different materials. You can use other types of paper and see what results you may get. You can use paper towels, you can use Kleenex, you can use maybe toilet paper if you have that available. I want to encourage you, maybe you will get different results using a rainbow of colors. I want you to remember that for paper chromatography, it is a separation of color mixtures. Have fun and stay safe. Thank you. I hope you had as much fun watching this as I had, and I hope you will try this fun experiment at home, because I can't wait to see your beautiful paper chromatography. Be sure to share your results in the comments below. And now it's time to have some creative kitchen fun with fruits and vegetables, presented by the Fleet Fearless Education Team Leader, Chris. Take it away, Chris. Hi, this is Chris, and today we're gonna do a project where art and chemistry intersect. Today we're gonna be using um, indicators, and an indicator is something that changes color when exposed to an acid or a base. Today we're gonna be using indicators that we can find in our own kitchen. For this project, you're gonna need a piece of paper, some lemon juice, either from a bottle or from a lemon that grows in your yard. You'll also need some highly pigmented fruits or vegetables. I'm gonna use red cabbage, which really looks purple, and some radishes. To do this project, you're gonna actually color using those fruits or vegetables on the piece of paper. So first, I'm gonna color with the radish. You want it to get pretty dark so that you have a lot of pigment on your paper. The radish colors pretty well because it's almost like a crayon. 
Now I'm gonna color with the red cabbage. This isn't as easy to color with. As you can see, cabbage is kind of floppy. For the cabbage, you almost have to just wipe in one direction because it's so floppy. There's my papers. Now, we're gonna get ready to drip some lemon juice into this container, and then we're gonna use it to draw on that colorful piece of paper. I can actually use my finger to draw on the paper. Check this out. And on the radish, you could actually make any design you want using the lemon juice on your indicator. Take a picture of what you make and share it with us. Now that we've done that, I'm curious to see what else in my kitchen might work. Maybe some berries? Maybe a beet? What do you have in your kitchen that might work for this project? How fun was that? Who knew that one could get so creative with fruits and vegetables outside of cooking and baking with them? Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of DTV. A quick reminder before you go though, if you try one of these activities with your family, and I sure hope you do, share your results with us in the comments below. And be sure to like this video and follow us on social media for more science fun. See you next time. Aloha. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss. Bye bye.